I call this a few more bazingas. I wanted to show you a couple of more examples uh, since I had a little time today uh, with the normal distribution. Let's say we have a situation where we have a population of male cross-country runners ages 18 to 18 to 22 and we know their mean weight average weight is 145.3 pounds. We take a random sample of 50 of these cross-country runners in the, in the age group. We want to know the probability that the mean weight for the sample of 50 is greater than 146. They also tell us to assume the population's standard deviation is 6.72. Now, since this is a situation where we have been given the population mean, population standard deviation, and a sample size, we need to change the standard deviation, or what we're doing is finding the sample standard deviation using the formula. The population standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. That's all we're doing. Now, we can do this in Excel, actually right in the normal distribution calculator that I've shared with you. We can do this calculation. So for this one, we're going to type in equals uh, 6.72 divided by the square root of 50. Of course, you don't put in the quotation marks. Um, you know, it's kind of like entering a fraction. When we enter a fraction, we say equals three-fourths or whatever. It does the calculation and 0.75 shows up. In this case, we're asking it to do this calculation for us. Let's, let's, let's take a look because I really want to say bazinga. So we are going to enter the mean. The population mean, the sample mean will be the same as the population mean, 145.3. For the standard deviation, I'm going to click on that cell. I'm going to say equals. What was my, it's the standard deviation of the population, 6.72 divided by, I use an open parentheses. I'm going to do a square root. There's my square root function. Double click. My sample size was 50. I'm going to close it out with two right parentheses. Hit the enter. You notice it calculates it, so my new standard deviation for the sample would be 0 0.95035151. All right, I want to find the probability that one uh, that the mean for this sample is greater than 146. Remember, this is probability less than, probability greater than is this one in the middle, 146. Boom. The answer is 0.23. Zero, 07. That's the probability that the sample mean would be greater than 146. I got an extra bullet there. I'm kind of like Barney Fife. Anyway, um, so my answer was 0 0.2307. Bazinga. It's okay to yell it. Bazinga, bazinga, bazinga. All right. Now, that's not the end of the video yet. We are going to do one more problem. And this one doesn't involve the calculator. This involves kind of a real world application. We've got a bottling factory that uses a bottle filler certified by the National Bottle Fillers of America. I made that up. And the bottling factor, factory, this is kind of a tongue twister, the bottling factory fills the bottles up with a mean of 12 ounces and a standard deviation of 0.15 ounces. Billy the bottler randomly selects 37 bottles and measures the amount of liquid, whatever, or whatever they're putting in the bottles. Billy finds that the mean amount of liquid in the 37 bottles he measured was 11.72 ounces. Billy's manager, Myrtle, asks Billy if they need to reset the bottle filler or the bottle filling machine. Well, Billy goes into the Myrtle's office up to the whiteboard and he writes the following. He says, 12 
plus or minus 2 times 0.15 equals 11.7 to 12.3. In other words, 12 minus 2 times 0.15 is 12 minus 0.3 is 11.7. 12 plus 2 times 0.15 is 12 plus 0.3 or 12.3. Now, then Billy says, no, Myrtle, the average of 11.72 ounces is within. It's within that range. It's within two standard deviations, which implies it's a usual event. Well, Billy and Myrtle drink a cup of coffee, and they talk about things like, well, some of those might have been below, or some of those might have been above, but the bottling machine statistically is fine for right now and doesn't need to be reset. It is likely that he could have randomly sampled these uh -uh, with getting a mean of 11.72 because it does lie between plus or minus two standard deviations. I got an extra mean in there. Mean the mean. All right. Billy doesn't worry about that. He just kind of goes outside. He waits till he goes outside Myrtle's office, but under his breath, he says, Bazinga, Bazinga, Bazinga. He's probably looking for a raise. I thought these two problems might help you out. Hope they did. Take care now.